Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video and I really hope you learned something today. Huge shout out to my student Sid. Sid watches all of my videos. Alright, so today we're gonna learn how to make polygons using the command in AutoCAD. And um, after this video, the next video I upload will actually show you how to construct polygons using AutoCAD. Alright, so we enter the polygon command and the first thing that they ask us is how many sides do you want I started with four this is this is a, a, a square as you can see and um, they also ask you if you want the shape to circumscribe a circle or if you want it to be inscribed in a circle All right and um, then you enter the radius of the circle that you want to use. So you're gonna do three or four different, three or four different polygons. Our first shape is arguably not a polygon; it's a quadrilateral, it's a square. But I just wanted to show you that you can do it for a square also. And then we are going to move on to the polygons. What I'm doing here is I'm just offsetting this line so it will serve as the center point for all our future polygons okay so let's go so I'm entering the polygon command I'm gonna change the number of sides to five all right you specify the center and then you say okay I want it to be inscribed in a circle and you enter the radius it's that simple so by me saying I want it to be inscribed in a circle it means that a circle of radius 100 millimeters its circumference will pass through all the external points of my polygon all right so this new polygon this is a hexagon six sides and the last one I'm going to do is an octagon. I'm going to change the number of sides to eight. And yeah, inscribed. Good. So these are the most common polygons in technical drawing. If you exclude the square, the most common polygons would be the pentagon, which is five sides, the hexagon, which is six, and the octagon, which is eight. Right, the others are heptagon, which is seven sides, nonagon, which is nine, decagon, which is ten, and dodecagon, which is twelve. So these are our polygons. I'm actually gonna go ahead and label them, and it's just that simple. AutoCAD makes it really, really easy to. It makes it really easy to create a polygon um, all you need to do is just tell them how many sides you you need and just tell them if you want the polygon to be inscribed in a circle or if you want the polygon to circumscribe the circle all right so I'm just gonna adjust adjust my labeling here and then to speed things up what you do is you you copy your text like this and you just click under each shape you press enter and having copied it now they are obviously they are not all squares so what you do now is you go back and you just edit the text all right so they're all the same size etc etc following the labeling of these polygons I'm gonna go ahead and actually draw the circles for each polygon and um, so that you can see the differences between um, the circle being inscribed or 
Well, yeah, between the circle being inscribed or circumscribed. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a copy of these so that so that I don't need to draw them a second time. And there we go. Great. So now we're gonna we're gonna draw the circles. Now remember the radius or the well yeah the radius of our circle is 100 in each case. All right, so you can see that when I draw a circle of radius 100 around my square, the circle actually circumscribes the square. Likewise with the pentagon, the radius is also 100. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this circle and paste it over my hexagon and my octagon and you'll see that it's the same size circle for each polygon so when you are doing your polygon and they ask you if you want it to be inscribed they are actually asking you if you want the polygon to be inscribed in a circle and not if you want the circle to be inscribed in the polygon right so I just I just need to clarify that so we're gonna move on now and we're gonna draw some circles in our second row of polygons now as you would have seen I copied these polygons so they are the same size as the ones above and in the case of the ones above all the circles are the same the radius of the circles are 100 now let's see what happens when we Put the circle inside the polygon so in this case our polygon will be going around the circle now before we before we reveal the radius of our circles do you think the circles in the bottom row are all the same size? Like, just look at them. Are they? Do they look like the same size? So actually, they are not. So the radius of this circle is 80.94. The radius of the circle for the hexagon was 90 point something. Um, let's put a circle inside our octagon now. So this is 92.39 and let's check the radius of the circle in the square it's 70.71 so it's obvious that the bigger the polygon the bigger the circle inside thank you for watching okay so after recording the video it occurred to me that I did not demonstrate the polygons with the circumscribe option so I'm just gonna do that now um, I'm not gonna do the square this time starting with the pentagon so in the previous learning video you would have seen me select the inscribe option and I explained all of that it's actually they're actually not inscribing the circle but the polygon is is going inside of the circle so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the radius of the circle the same each circle is gonna have a radius of 100 millimeters but we're actually gonna put the polygon around the, the circle so when we select circums circumscribe around circle here that's exactly what it means right so our first shape was a pentagon five sides and then who could remember what 
how many sides the hexagon has. Yep, hexagon has six. Then I did a heptagon that's with seven sides. So that's a new shape. And our final shape will be the octagon. Right? But the the circle for each will have a radius of 100 mil millimeters. What I'm doing now is I'm just gonna copy the polygons that I just drew and paste them, put it over the previous one so that you can see the size difference. All right, so when the hexagon, sorry, when the polygon is circumscribed about the circle of radius 100 millimeters, as you can see, we wind up with a uh, it's not signif it's not far greater or much larger in size but um the l the less my words are beating me the pentagon which has five sides you can see a greater difference and then the hexagon which has six you see a difference but it's less than the pentagon and then the octagon which has eight sides the difference is even less right so just some interesting things for us to note and um as you can see the circles in all of these polygons have a radius of 100 millimeters it's the same circle and um yeah these are just little differences and little little tidbits that i think we should know right so it's the difference between having the polygon circumscribe the circle or having the polygon be inscribed in the circle according to AutoCAD. Normally in technical drawing we would say that the, circ that the circle is circumscribing the polygon or the circle is inscribed in the polygon. Um, we're gonna spend the next few few videos will be dealing with polygons um we're actually going to be doing some construction in autocad so look out for that and if you haven't already please like and subscribe